Hello, my brothers and sisters. My name is Renee James. I am an American black man or an Afro-American. And I am a Christian. Now, I tell you that I am a black man, which is obvious, for a reason. You see, as a black man, I have often wondered, as I'm sure a lot of you probably have, why it is that we, as black Americans, and I mean North and South America, as black Americans, why we were subjected to the type of cruelty and abuse that we have always been subjected to. I just could not figure that out. Well, I believe I have a theory on that, my brothers and sisters. I believe the Lord gave me a revelation on all of that. You see, we have a special purpose. We have a special purpose in God's grand design. And we are a big part of God's plan. And believe it or not, God told us this, or rather God showed us this long ago. And I'll tell you where. Let's go to the crucifixion. Now, those of you that are familiar with the Bible, and I'm sure most of you are, you're probably like me. I believe everything in the Bible. And I believe that everything that is in the Bible is there for a reason. And this is one of the things that perplex me about the crucifixion. Let's look at the crucifixion. And I'll tell you what the Lord revealed to me with that. And why it is that we, Afro-Americans, both North and South Americans, are special in God's plan. During the crucifixion, you remember Jesus was carrying his cross. Jesus was carrying the cross to Calvary. But Jesus stumbled. Jesus stumbled and fell. And a journey, a person journeying to Israel was forced into carrying the cross. Now that passage always perplexed me. The reason that always perplexed me, because like I said, I believe everything in the Bible is there for a reason. But here's a passage of a man, his name is Simon of Cyrene, and that's all we find out about him. Well, I always wonder, well, why is he there? The Lord not only tells us what this man's name is, but he tells us where he's from. And he tells us why he's where he is. He's there in a pilgrimage. He's from Cyrene, which is in Africa. His name is Simon. And that's it. Nothing before it, nothing after it. And I've always wondered about that. Why was that? The Lord gave me a revelation on that. You see, the Jews were God's chosen people. They were the people that were supposed to bring the world God's word and show the world God's truthfulness in his word. But the Jews stumbled. The Jews stumbled and fell. Jesus stumbled and fell. Jesus was a Jew. The Jews had been cut off. The Jews were cut off. They were cut off from God. They stumbled and they fell. They couldn't carry the cross. Jesus couldn't carry the cross to Calvary. He couldn't carry the cross to Calvary because he was a Jew.
But Jesus was also the Christ. And he had to get up on that cross. But he couldn't carry the cross to Calvary. Because he was a Jew. So who did God turn to to carry the cross? He turned to the African. Now the centurions could have chose anybody amongst all of the people that were out there spectating. He could have chose any of them. But God's plan was that African. God chose the African from Cyrene. So that right there, my brothers and sisters, is our first clue that God has a specific plan for us. And I'm going to tell you what that plan is a little bit later. <clears throat> God has a specific plan for us. Now, there is another passage in the Bible that I think confirms my suspicion. If you remember in the book of Acts, there is an incident there's an occasion where Philip is told by the Lord to go out on a certain road and find a traveler. He does that and he's on foot. This traveler is in a chariot. So Philip does some fast running to catch up with this chariot. But who is in this chariot? It's an Ethiopian, an African. You know the story, they do a Bible study there. At the end of the Bible study, the Ethiopian asks Philip if he can be baptized. They see water there, can you baptize me? And Philip baptizes him. Now think about that for a second. There are only two races of people mentioned in the Bible that are baptized. The Jew with John the Baptist as he's baptizing people. He baptized Jesus who is Jewish. And the African. Now of course there are other instances where baptism is mentioned. And the Lord talks about thousands being baptized. But he doesn't tell us who they are. I suspect they were Hebrews because the Lord had forbidden the, the apostles from going to Asia Minor for a while and even going to the Gentiles. There were two races of people baptized, the Jew and the African. After the African was baptized, he went about his merry way, singing and praising the Lord. Philip was caught up and brought back to chaos and upheaval. Things began to happen. So you see, my brothers and sisters, there are two of the clues that let you know who we are. And it has been missed for centuries. We are the cross bearers. We bear the, Christ, the cross of Christ. Now, look at this. There were only two races of people that carried the cross. One was the Jew. Well, we know that God had cut the Jews off. They no longer had access to God. He cut the Jews off until the second coming when Jesus returns. If they have learned their lesson. But as far as worldly riches... The Jews were not cut off from that, but they were cut off from their access to God. That was one race that handled the cross. Who was the other race that handled the cross? The African. The African was not cut off from God. The African was cut off from worldly acclimates, gaining worldly treasures and things the African was cut off from being the human being that everybody else could be but the African was cut off by man the Jew was cut off 
by God. We still had access to God. So you see, God had a plan for us. God has a plan for us. And all of the things that have happened to us, African Americans, both North and South, are part of God's plan. And I'm going to tell you why. After the Ethiopian left Philip, he went back to Africa. So right there, God's word was secreted to Africa. Well, over the centuries, there came a time when that it was realized that there was great profit in the riches of Africa, both natural resources, natural riches, and human. So they went about capturing the Africans and raping the country. They captured Africans, put them in bondage under what we call nowadays slavery. And they bought them. They brought them from Africa to the Americas, the North America and the South America. When they brought these people from Africa to the Americas, they wiped them clean. They wiped them clean. Their heritage, their tradition, everything was wiped clean. 